Now I'm dragon food. Well, that backfired. Oh, well, well. Silly me. Hmm, this is what I get for being in a hurry. <laughs> oh, I thought you felt a little scrawny. <laughs> oh, I know what we have to do here. Hold on. I know what I have to do here. So, fun times, chat. Fun times. For those of you who are playing along at home, what spell do we need to cast right now? Why not white grass? Because you can't target the grass, Argon. Although that probably would have worked too. But you can't target the grass. Nope. Nope. We're not going to twist the dragon. We are not going to twist the dragon, Batman. Roll to seduce the dragon. We could try. Dragon. Hmm. Where'd you get your manners? Stop staring at me. Really? Was I staring? Sorry. Oh, forget it. Don't pay any attention to me. I get crabby on an empty stomach. Aw, the dragon's hangry. Hit roll initiative. Are you going to incinerate me now? Hmm, incinerate you? My, aren't you the foxy one? Actually, I am. You've come to the wrong lair if that's what you're after. Listen, sweetie, I haven't done fire since my last mating season, and you don't want to know how long ago that was. Wow. Those little tongues of flame running up and down my nostrils? Please, too much heat for this old reptile. Oh my god. You mean you can't breathe fire? Want, won't, honey. Doesn't fit my lifestyle. Just between you and me, the stuff gives me the willies. <laughs> yeah. All right. There are many things we can do here. And yes, Azzy, this is a female dragon. This is a female dragon. So there is... Um, rain, please. Uh, Silver Eagle is correct. We are supposed to cast straw on her gold, but I want to see if we can put her to sleep. So, no, we can't because we don't have A. So no, we have to, uh, we have to turn her straw into, or excuse me, turn her gold into straw. We could try to twist her, but I don't think that will work. We also can't really cast invisible on her. However, what happens when you make a dragon angry? E, D, D, E. So it would be E. Nope, not G. Wow. That's not going to do anything. You chill the hot temper. Hmm, well, I guess that isn't a draft. All right, gold. Wow. Wondering how, why, or excuse me, wondering who my decorator is, right? Well, you're looking at her. This pile is sad compared to what I used to have lying around here. I picked up a load of crystal once that was to die for, honestly. And yes, they do do the chomp chomp. Then, wouldn't you know, this third-rate wizard tries to rip apart my volcano. We're talking major earthquake here. Ruined all my fancy glassware. I made that boy very, very sorry. Let me tell you. <laughs> Did manage to save one little knick-knack. The loveliest glass ball. It was so precious. So what did I do? Ha! Lost it in the caves under the mountain. Rolled away before I could grab it. Yeah. Never did find that puppy. Ah, oh, say la vie. Oh, we'll find it for you, but first we gotta piss you off. You're gonna give me the same... Okay, nope. So, E-D-D-E. -E. Let's piss off a dragon. <laughs> Get straw. Oh, she gonna be so angry. Oh, why, aren't we clever today? Just put it back before you leave. Aw. There we go. Now... We can put a dragon to sleep. So A-F-E-D. That should work. 
A F E D. Sleepy dragon. Yawn. Oh, who's a good dragon? Uh oh, it's snoring on the straw. <laughs> oh, I am a gremlin. <laughs> I am such a gremlin. But that is what you're supposed to do. That is what you're supposed to do. <laughs> I'm a gremlin. All right. Uh, we need night vision here. So let me look up that spell real quick. Uh, let's see. There's lots of paper rustling today. Sorry about that. But that is how this works. D C C D. All right, so D C C D. Oh no, we totally are snuggles. There we go. Now we get one of these horrific things where we have to traverse the darkness. Because the goal here is to find that sphere. Now, of course, this is one of those mazes. Uh, let me catch up on stuff. She just wanted her shinies. Yeah, no, I set her shinies on fire. She will never have shinies again. I am a jerk. Remember, friends, I am an agent of chaos in this game. There, there is a reason why the village wanted to kill me. <laughs> we'll just put it that way. And yes, hello darkness, my old friend. I wish I remembered all the lyrics of that song, because it's a good one. Alright, that leads me back up here, so we need to go into that cave. Because the goal here is to find the sphere. And of course, this is one of those screen puzzles. But basically, you just click a lot and hope you find the right path. Wait, what was that? Nothing. There we go. Of course, we're not going to go down first. We're going to go this way. So how how is chat enjoying the crafty nostalgia here? Hopefully, you all are enjoying this. And I'm hoping we actually finish this one today. I might end up going long just so we can make this a one-day stream. And remember, too, there is a vote going on for what game we're going to play next. I'm so glad that you all chose to play the one with music, too, because this scene would be silent if we had not chosen the music version. Like, I feel sorry for the dragon. Eh. I do and I don't. Oops. Hmm. Guess I won't be going back that way. Whoops-a-doodle. Pool. This is reflection. Rending, tear, folding, invisibility, desire, waterproof, reflection. Here we go. Do that one again. A-F- F A A F F A Got it. First experience of love. Oh, I, I love this game too, Oregon. I love this too. And speaking of, um, I am more than happy to share the ISO for this one if y'all want to play it for yourselves. Because I got this off an abandonware website, which means it is creative freedom. Never heard before, but really enjoying it. Yeah, this is this is a classic. No, it's not piracy, Captain Snuggles. 
This particular version is actually Abandonware. And it's not piracy when I own the game on Steam. <laughs> I, I have the Steam version. Uh, we just chose not to play the Steam version. Is that my reflection? Ugh. Um, I wonder if we can do that. A, F, F, A. Oh. Hold on. I wonder if that will work. Okay. G, F, E, E. I'm curious. G, F, E, E. Can I terrify myself? I guess that is the draft. But I'm glad that you're having a blast with the nostalgia. Uh, we're going to try something. G, D, D, E. G, D, D, E. Can we empty the pool? Got it. <gasps> and look at that. One crystal sphere. Okay, volcano. Okay. Swan. Yeah, that's Transcendence. I know that spell. Oh, here's the big baddie. That is Jerk Face. Creepy human eyed swan. Well, there's a reason for that, Wobbin to Wonder Dog. Um, you came into stream late, so you wouldn't know this. Uh, but the start of this game is your entire village getting turned into swans. So that that is why that is why the swan has a creepy human eye. That is why the swan has a creepy human eye. If I'm correct, that is C sharp F G. Yeah, that's transcendence. We'll use that later. Who would want to do that? Well, there's reasons for it, Silver. Um, the neatest thing about this game, which I remember distinctly from my childhood, and I do have it for anyone who wants to actually listen to it. Um, there was, when you bought this game back in the day, there was a cassette that came with it that was basically a little 30-minute audio drama. Um, do I have to fill the pool to get back out of here? Sorry. Bear with me a second. I'm trying to figure out how to get out. No, go down. Yeah, I already found it, Snuggles. So I can link people to it. I thought about listening to it at the top of stream, but I didn't really know if y'all wanted to listen to 30 minutes of an audio drama. <laughs> so if you want to hear it, you can listen to it on your own. All right, maybe I have to refill the pool. Because you're not letting me out of here. Fine, right, go down. But yeah, there was a little 30-minute audio drama that went with this game to kind of give you a bit of the backstory. But pretty much your mom couldn't have a kid, so she went to the Great Loom and basically wove you out of the pattern. So it's kind of creepy, to be honest. How the heck do I get down the stairs again? Err. Our pupper is using us a jungle gym. Oh, no! And welcome on in, Running Paul. Welcome on in. Welcome on in. How are you doing today? We are getting confused and trying to get out of a spot. And I don't know how to get out of here. No, dying won't help. Terror won't help. Invisibility won't help. AFFA? Maybe. Left of the over. I thought there was two. Oh, there is. Dry hole. Dry as a bone. Well, we can try and fill the hole with 
Shut up, Crafty. We can fill the hole with water again. And maybe that will let us get out of the cave. Where's my water spell? Emptying. Nope, that's not emptying. There it is. Uh, so E, D, D, G. E, D, D, G. Yes, the dry hole needs moisture. So that'll fill up my hole again. Let me out. I want out. Open the hole to make an earthquake. That's also a possibility. That is also a possibility. See, this is kind of fun because I don't remember everything. I remember parts of this game, but apparently not as much as I thought I did. D D D E. But yeah, I, I like your idea of trying to open the hole. I like your idea of trying to open the hole. So that's E C E D. E C E D. <laughs> okay, that draft won't work on the pool. Not intentionally lewd. I am not being intentionally lewd. One thing I don't like is sometimes you have to be flipping pixel perfect to uh, get to things. Air won't work. Invisibility won't work. Open won't work. We could try closing the hole. D-E-C-E. -E. Yeah, D-E-C-E. D-E-C-E. -E. That probably won't work. Nope, that doesn't work. We emptied the hole. We can't sharpen the hole. We can't sleep the hole. Straw in the gold won't help. Okay, I'm just missing a passage out of here, as I think what's happening. This is just one of those times that I need to click on something that I am not seeing to get out of this area. Come on, let me out. need some way to take the orb possibly I don't think I have something for that though E C E D don't think that'll do anything yeah yeah invisibility won't do anything either desire waterproofing we already tried reflection on it E D D G that won't do anything Yeah, that doesn't do anything. You can't sharpen the orb. I don't think you have to take the orb. I think we just need to get out of here, and I'm not clicking on the right part. <laughs> oh, this is, this is unfortunately one of the faults. You're never lewd. Raunchy, perhaps, like caribou net level raunchy. Well, that I can be lewd, though, running paw. <laughs> don't, don't, uh, don't try me. I can be lewd. Most of the time, I'm unintentionally lewd, which is part of my problem. Yeah, most of my thing is, is I am unintentionally lewd. Use but she only cares who jumps on mom's face, of course. E E E G. We'll fill up the hole again. Oh, we need to go down. We need to go down that walkway, but I don't know how. Why won't you let me go down? Or because I'm not clicking on the one pixel you want me to click on, game. Why are you not letting me do this? Yeah, and there's the creepy cleric guy. We we get to play with him later. We get to play with him later.
Because the issue is, I can guarantee you, we are not clicking on something we're supposed to. That is usually the issue with things like this, is just finding the dang part. There we go. I was trying to enter the wrong side. Oh, and I will refund that to you, Revelation. Unfortunately, without the uh, VTube rig, you cannot feed me. <laughs> without the rig, you cannot feed me today. We had Kigu redeemed. All right, so now we have a stairway. What about the steps? Repair costs must be spiraling. Um, I had to call him message. Yeah, I did. I did, Riv. I was clicking on the wrong side of the cave was the problem. I kept trying to click on the stairs on the front, and we actually need to click on the back of it. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's a reading food for carbon nickel and zero. Yeah, and unfortunately, he is on a call right now. But I think I know what I need to do here. Not open, not tear. So for those playing along at home, what spell do you think we need to use here? What spell do you think we need to use? <laughs> because we have a spiral staircase. What spell do you think we need to use to have a not spiral? There you go. Untwist. So that's going to be C-F-E-D. C-F-E-D. And this should be spectacular. That actually was kind of cool. I've forgotten how cool this game is. Seriously. I've forgotten how cool and fun this game is. It's so much fun to be playing a, a old school retro like this. Uh-oh. <laughs> Dragons on fire! Uh-oh. Boy. Strange place to take a nap. Hmm. You twist it while on the part that was open before twisting? I don't think so, Riv. Um, we could wake the boy up. We could wake the boy up. I'm just seeing what other spells we can have. We also could cast terror on the boy. That might be funny. GF. GFGE. Did I write that right? So GFEG. No. G F F E. I can't read my own handwriting again. G e F E E. Uh oh. I can't read my own handwriting, chat. This is a problem. G F G E. <laughs> oh no, I can't read my own handwriting. Anyone have the terror spell written down? G F F G. No, G F F E. E-F-E-E. -E. I love it when I can't read my own handwriting. Well, that's a problem. No, tear should not be reversible. The problem is I wrote down something and I can't tell if I wrote a G or an E. Because I'm writing on my keyboard, which is not conductive to, uh, to doing things. Hmm. Well, we can wake him up at least. I wanted to do terror on him, though. So 
it's not GF. GF GE is not right. Maybe E F F E. There it is. I was playing music. You woke me up. Never saw anyone dressed like you before. What's your name? Robin Threadbare of the Weavers. Weavers, huh? No wonder your cloak is so nice. My real name is Well Wrought, but everyone calls me Rusty. Rusty Nailbender. That is a name. I'm supposed to be gathering firewood, but this plateau has been picked clean. What's your guild, Rusty? Follow me. I'll show you. Zoom! That's us, the Guild of Blacksmiths. Hmm, never would have guessed. Yeah, the giant anvil. Our city's been here since before the shadows. We call it the Forge. Wonderful restaurant. What brings a weaver to these parts? I'm on a quest! I'm looking for a flock of swans. Did you see any pass this way? Sorry, no swans around here. Plenty of vultures, though. Yawn. All this talk makes me sleepy. Wake me if you find your swans. Never seen one before. <sighs> Alright, so... Said E-F-F-E? -F -F -E? Interesting. E-F-F-E. -F -F -E. Draft won't work on him. Hmm. So EFFE does do something. I just wonder what spell that was. Oh well. Alright, so what do we got here? He's supposed to be gathering firewood, but there is none. We can't open the brambles. Ah, what do we got here? These grave markers are made from blocks of metal. Can I sharpen the grave? Because, of course, I doubt that will work. A, F, F, A. I don't think reflection will work. Yeah, no. All right, G, D, D, E. Let's open the grave. Or empty the grave, rather. Yeah, don't do that, Crafty. Rumble, 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 rumble. <laughs> I'm not sure I should be trying that. All right, C, D, D, A. Let us sharpen the grave. Does not work. That won't work on the grave. All right. So, next up. Now, I believe this is one of the parts of the game you might be able to die in. Halt! Who goes there? Just me, a friendly stranger. A friendly stranger? Ha! Huh. This is a private guild, my strange young friend. Gate opens for members only. Now, go away and play somewhere else. I think I remember what I'm supposed to do, and it's weird. Hold on. Uh, there it is. I remember what I'm supposed to do here, and it's kind of weird. I believe I have to cast Reflection. Yeah. Yeah, this is weird. This is weird. No, we're not going to kill him. We're not going to kill him. We're going to become him. Because reflection will make me look like him. It's weird, but it works. See? Now he's Bobbin, and I'm Rusty. Rusty. Still napping. So yeah, there we go. Now I can go in. I just conspicuously now have a stick. I conspicuously now have a stick.
No, go to the forge. Thank you. There we go. Got tight. Hail, young nailbender. Hail. Stoke is looking for you. He sure looks mad. You better get in there quickly. Let me open the gate for you. Oh, I want to open the gate myself. Fine. All right. So next step. Remember what I said earlier about needing to uh, twist a sword? I love the music in this section, too. I'm looking for twist. Come on, twist is here somewhere. S transcendence, sharpening, emptying, silence, and making. Twist, there it is, twist. We'll need sharpen and twist. I love the green stuff. What green stuff, Batman? This area is so cool. Ah, gotcha, Batman. <laughs> well, well, well. If it isn't my faithful, tireless apprentice, Rusty Nailbender. Er, hello, Mr. Stoke. And look, he's brought me a stick of wood. Oh no. Exactly one crooked old stick of firewood for my poor starving furnace. Firewood? You lazy idiot. I sent you out four hours ago to gather firewood, and you dare to come back with one lousy stick? Speak. If your father wasn't the foreman, I'd toss you into the furnace. Lucky for you, he's downstairs with the bishop right now. The evil bishop. If that furnace goes out, the cleric's swords will be late. Perhaps you care to ask the bishop for forgiveness in person. Happy to arrange it. He's such a jerk. Give me that stick. No! I know what to do with you. I'll be back, Nailbender. No! And I won't be alone. Uh-oh. Well, this is a problem. Straw. Looks kind of comfortable. Yawn. Straw must have a sleep draft spun upon it. Can't do much without my distaff anyway. You better hope that that doesn't get thrown into the fire, you moron. And there's our dragon, again. Hey, welcome on in, Ishmik. Welcome in, welcome in. How are you doing today? Zzz. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Imagine frightening a poor defenseless old thing like me. Honestly. Uh-oh. Well, I may not be much good with fire, sweetie. But young for meat is something I can really sink my teeth into. Oh, huh? My robe's not reflecting anymore. Hmm, something must have happened to Rusty. I hope he's okay. <laughs> he's not. Oh, he is most certainly not. Huh, look at this. One stick of wood left. One! Yeah, he did get eat it, 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 it. Furnace won't keep much longer. No! And thousand swords to forge, and the furnace is almost cold. <sighs> Here goes my new office furniture. Oh. That weaver kid did this to me. Now I have to wait outside. Ever get my hands on him? 
By the way, that's one of the scenes that got cut. Ha. Huh. Back to the pattern. That was easy. Pity that someone has to die for me to return. Yeah, this whole scene was cut in the voice acted section. Dragon. Oh, poor child. Now, Brook and Bobbin have gone. Couldn't be there. The Smiths are a suspicious lot. They'd never let a weaver inside. You underestimate how much trouble I can get myself in. Uh-oh. <laughs> Perhaps I ought to look into this. And I've forgotten just how good this game was. And dark. The things I go through. What would Elder Athros say if he saw his distaff treated so? Got it. Mustn't singe the feathers. Boink. Steak. Straw. Had enough sleep for now. Stick. Now I'm back in business. All right. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn the straw into gold because we can. Because why wouldn't we? Uh, twisting, shaping, warmth, sleep, opening, dying, healing, night vision. D D D E. D D D E. Because of course we're going to turn the straw into gold because we can. I think that actually has a purpose too. Guess my distaff still works. Door. Closed. Oh, is it now? Is it now? You think I'd have this dang spell memorized at this point? But no, I don't. E C E D. E C E D. I really wish they would do like a modern, modern, modern remake of this. This game is so good. So good. Uh, you know what? I might be able to help the dude. Hold on. Where is my empty spell? Where is my empty spell? Night vision, rending, sharpening, extinguish, emptying. Okay. E D D G. Let's see if this works. I doubt this will work. E D D G. Let's be nice to him. Hey, there you go. There's your wood. As well as it can get. Magic. Magic. Yeah, you know what, Silver? I have Wander Song too. I just haven't gotten around to playing it yet. This part. Sword. Hmm, that's going to be one nasty sword when he's done banging on it. Oh, hello. Pink. Hard to be nosy with all this noise. Well, there is something we can do here. Uh, shrinkage is not going to help us. Straw into gold won't help us. Now, we have two options, chat. We have two options. We can unsharpen the sword, or we can twist the sword. Forsaking the 10,000 sword marks the end of preparations. Uh, hold on. Let's do A, D, D, C. C. The metal is proud, Foreman. It does not yield easily. Hmm. More sweat will soften it, I trust. Twist it. Pop it. Twist it. Shall be a blade to be reckoned with. Blade of reckoning. I like it. Uh, alright, so A, D, D, C. A, D, D, C. A certain apocalyptic flare. Can't spend any drafts in here. Too much noise. Okay. So... D, E, E, C. E, 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 C. I don't know if this is going to work. 
Oh, there, there, there. There, 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 there. Hold on, hold on. You got to do it when he's got the sword up in the air. I missed my chance. A, E, D, C. There. Ha! Now we have unsharpened the sword. Foreman, what evil is this? A witch's curse has befallen the blade. The edge has been mischievously blunted. A curse edgewise? I think not. I hate to believe that a witch's curse could so thoroughly ruin my schedule. I don't suppose that fellow who's been spying on us has anything to do with it. <laughs> but yes, you can twist or unsharpen. Perhaps he'd care to accompany me back to my cathedral. I may have new curses to teach him. Here we go. Now we're in the Bishop's Cathedral. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Bishop Mandible, transmuted apostle of the anti-secular conclave of clerics. That's a mouthful. Am I supposed to kneel or something? Silence, prisoner! My assistant, Cobb. Charming. Your cloak and staff betray your origin. I study the lore of your guild at university. It's been quite a long time since any weaver dared to set foot off that dreamy rock you call home. Loom. So provincial. And I'm sorry for those who want to twist. I thought I could still do twist after unsharpen. I can't help but wonder what impelled you to leave it now. His Excellency asked you a question. I know, I'm ignoring it. Ah, uh, recalcitrance, I see. Shall I fetch the instruments of persuasion, Excellence? Hmm, forgive the hostility of my assistant. I fear Cobb is not very worldly. He does not realize how dangerous a weaver can be. No, he has no clue. Hmm, dangerous? Him? Hmm. Do you think this iron cage of yours is enough to hold the boy captive? You gotta take my stick away. Why, he could burst it wide open with hardly a second thought. But excellence, I inspect the locks every Tuesday. Every Tuesday, huh? Observe and learn, my servant. Even now, your prisoner plans his escape. Truth. Truth. Um, so what do you think? Should we tear? B F F I guess we have to use open. And thank you for those pets, Melina. E C E D. E C E D. Because, of course, we have to play right into his clutches. Hi. You see, Cobb? An elusive breed, these weavers. Luckily, they are quite helpless without their weaving sticks. Not so much. Give me that. You dare raise your voice at his excellency? Now, now, Cobb. We mustn't be rude to our guest. Not after he was kind enough to bring us such a magnificent gift. Mandible, that distaff will never work for you. Hmm, you are wrong, my arrogant young friend. Come, let me show you why. You heard the exalted one? Move it! No, you're, you're supposed to get caught here, Argon. Consider the, crumbing, the common graveyard. In a graveyard, the boundary between living and the dead is indistinct. See, I have morals. He doesn't. You weavers would say that the pattern here is fragile, thin as gauze. Not just here. Every graveyard is like that. I suspect as much. Now, imagine what might happen if this delicate boundary was somehow 
breached. Torn open, so to speak. Forget it, Mandible. Can't just rip the pattern apart like any old rag. Oh, yes, he can, actually. Ah, but I can, I can. All I require is a weaver's distaff and the four threads of an opening draft. Thank you for supplying both so readily. Dun, dun, dun! When the boundary is breached, the dead will stream back into the plain of the living, eager to reclaim their place among us, and I will be waiting for them, ready to offer my vast experience in spiritual leadership. Actually, that's expertise, not experience. I shall preside over a teeming multitude of restless shades, immortal, invincible, an army of the dead, with myself as its supreme commander. Yeah, this dude is nuts. An army nourished by the meat of the shepherds, armed with the swords of the blacksmiths, and guided by the sphere of the glassmakers. Yeah, I do, Riv. I do need that. I was preparing to invoke the dead by other, more forceful means. Then the glassmakers delivered my sphere. It foretold your convenient arrival. But not enough. Now it shows me the, me, the smiths repairing the sword you tried to ruin. The age of the clerics will soon be upon us. <laughs> Bob, don't let him out of your sight. I won't, Excellency. And don't let him touch anything. Lord Mandible, ruler of the universe. Time to change my stationery. Little humor there. Not so dangerous now, are you? <laughs> oh, I am very dangerous, actually. I am very, very dangerous. Keep away from that, you. His Excellence said not to touch anything. I wasn't going to touch it, just looking, that's all. Just looking at, um, er, uh, tell you what. If you look into the sphere, if you let me look at something. Ahem. What do you have in mind? This is bad, by the way. Legend says it is death to gaze upon a weaver uncloaked. This guy's an idiot. Naturally, we clerics pay little heed to such foolish rumors. Still, I'm curious. Let me look into this. I will let you look into this sphere if you let me lift your hood. Deal. I wouldn't try that if I were you. Yes, I am at that part. Why not? There's nothing to fear under that fine robe of yours, is there? If you fear nothing, then you'd better not touch me. Ah, uh, a riddle. I like riddles. Let's answer this little riddle once and for all, shall we? This is bad, by the way. Fools. How am I supposed to invoke the dead with all that screaming in there? Uh, if I was playing extra mode, it would zero. Yep. Layman. Can't say I didn't warn him. Now, now, my friends, I will tell you this. If we were playing this on expert mode, there's an extra cutscene at the end of the game that shows you what's under his hood. We can look that up on YouTube once we beat the game. Yeah. It's, it's pretty gruesome. It's pretty gruesome. He gives you a hint, though, by saying, if you fear nothing, I advise you not to do that. There's, well, there's something underneath the hood. There is something underneath the hood, but it's not what you think it is. Let's look in the sphere. Pretty much, Argon. Somehow, this transfers him to Monkey Island, where he's forced to start selling potions about... No, it does not, Slacker. <laughs> that is a chicken. Okay. 
Now remember, this only shows six hours into the future. And a black swan feather, okay. It's the same exact guy. It, it, not really. Not really, Slacker. <laughs> Amusing idea, though. Okay, back to the swan. Let's go talk to the little Drake. Looks hungry. Beast. Ah, okay. That's why we need the chicken. That's why we need the chicken. We have to feed the Drake. Uh-oh. Mandible. Hmm, I see Cobb is being lax in his duties. No matter. You're just in time to witness the dawn of a new era. You don't know what you're doing, Mandible. The pattern is worn enough already. If you rip a hole in it now... Yeah. Chaos. Spare me your weaver mysticism. No more shall the dead envy the living. This dude cray cray. Kind of, Melina. Kind of. Wow, you must have opened everything within 50 miles of here. Including the eyes of the dead. Behold! This is not good. This is not good. I have a very bad feeling about this. Who dares disturb the peace of those who sleep? Greetings, noble spirit. I am Bishop Mandible, trans transmultate apostle of the anti-secular conclave of clerics. Who I have the honor of summoning. I am chaos. Fudge. Join me. <laughs> yeah, kids game. I see it has been too long since my last visit. Can't seem to hold on to this thing. All right, so did anybody catch that spell? And yes, I know that is fan theory, Slacker Unchained. Dang it, I didn't catch that spell. Because chaos is a spell you can cast, actually. Chaos cast twist? Oh, you're right, you're right, Argon. He did cast twist. So yeah, there you go. There is our twisted human. But yeah, just bad. This bad. But you are right, he did cast twist. But yeah, there's your human being getting twisted. There is your human being getting twisted. You always notice the beast is gone. Chicken. But no, I think you're right. I think you're right, Oregon. He did cast twist. All right, well. My contact is being wonky. Uh-oh. Yipes! Into chaos. 